I come now to the third decade of independence, and that saw a major policy shift. Not a return to the Arthur Lewis model of encouraging foreign investment in a sterile, protected space. The new dynamics of the Western world, insisted upon by the multilateral institutions, would not have allowed that. It involved a strenuous program of structural adjustment, privatization, the elimination of price and import controls, redefining the role of government in the economy, and the move to a market-driven economy. The transition was far from painless. As G. Arthur Brown candidly acknowledged, structural adjustment in inevitably meant reducing standards of living in the short term. Fiscal compression, wage restraint, and public sector retrenchment were some of the tools that had to be used. But it started to work. Toward the end of that decade, the Jamaican economy was growing. Rate of growth reached 6% per annum. That was up to the time when Gilbert struck. 